Mark's um, work over the last five years, um, which work I've created. Majority of it during during the you know COVID years, being at home, and um, yeah, it's just it was just the right time to put the collection together and and show them in a gallery. And the reason why it's called Infinite Drama is because it's a you know there's so many different styles in my paintings. You know, there's not you know I don't fixate on one style at all. You know. So there's so many different styles, and each one have their own kind of dramatic feel to them. So, hence the name Infinite Drama. Doing art is is a totally uh, different way of creating. Do you know what I mean? For me, it's um, it's just freedom. So I go into the space. I don't have a, if I have a rough idea, I go to my art space with a rough idea and see what happens, see what develops. So 90% of the time I don't go in there with any ideas or just like go in there and whatever happens, happens. Totally different to music. It's all creativity, Mu you know, musicians, people, uh, you know, designers, whatever, they're, they're part of what I call creatives. And, you know, it's how they want to express themselves, you know, like you're saying, artists write music, musicians create art, some people make clothes, some people make jewellery, some people make hats, <laughs> some people, you know, do interior design it. I think it's all part of creativity, you know. I don't think, um, when you're creative, you just want to release that that energy of creativity in any form. I think that things have changed, you know. I think um, probably a few, years, you know, probably 10, 15 years ago, you know, and I used to, you saw that in the UK, it was, it was almost kind of do one thing and be good at that one thing, <laughs> you know, and that was it. It, it was, it was um, frowned upon if you was a jack of all trades. It's frowned upon if you could be a musician and an artist and great craftsman making furniture. It was frowned upon. It was like, oh, what do you do? Are you an artist or you're cra what are you? <laughs> you know, a carpenter. And I think today, I think people realize that you can express yourself in, 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 in many ways and you don't have to limit yourself. I don't really focus on any topic really. Um, it could be anything what's happening. I actually let things just happen. Like I say, Jimmy, I don't go in there with a particular topic as such. Um, you know, you know the, my early works, I did have a, the butterflies, you know, Lepidoptera. I did have a, that was topic based and that was based off an advert I saw on TV um, about a but girl chasing, you know, catching butterflies, you know, butterfly net. And I kind of armed the butterflies, it's called a butterfly rebellion really. Arming the butterflies, giving them samurai swords so they cut themselves out of the net. And just kind of empowering the butterfly. So that's kind of like the basis of that. A lot of the other works are, I really got, in, I really got into abstract art, you know, um, and just letting things flow and whatever just came out of me. I just put it on canvas. And, so abstract art is, is kind of a, a big, part, big part of my art collection at the moment and my art style. All my art is surreal because it's all, it's all imagery what comes from my head. And it's not, 
anything, which is, if you see the butterflies, you see wolf, you know. Um, it's all fictional fantasy. Um, the cats with the guns, you know, the ballerinas with, with guns, but they're all spraying, the ballerinas spraying rose petals from the guns, you know. So it's all, it's all a fantasy world, it's all a fantasy world that's in my head. And I just like to create work, art. I'm not, I'm not a literal artist where I'm painting scenes from an actual event, you know, like 9-11 or anything like that. You know, it's, all, it's all fictional. <laughs> Obviously, it's mixed media, so I, I use any technique which is out there, um, any technique what works. And, you know, I've perfected a few techniques. Because, you know, I think over time, with any kind of art, you just, um, you perfect your style, you know, in, in any craft. The more, more you do it, you know, repetitively, you create, you create your own style and your own technique, and that's what, that's what I do. Well, I've created a few NFTs. Um, it's just another medium for creating art. You know, I don't see anything different, really. People, some people frown upon NFTs and think, Oh, it's digital and it's on this and that. You know, it's, it's an art piece. You know, if you create an art piece on a computer, um, because I think a lot of traditionalists are still in the, the, that way of thinking that art has to be on a canvas, you know. You know, I'm, that's, that's an old school way of thinking, you know. I think we've moved on from that. Art can be anything. Art can be anything. If you create it and you put it on canvas, if you print it, if it's a film, you know, a movie is an art piece, uh, you know, a short film is an art piece, um, you know, a little bit of poetry on paper is an art piece. So art has many forms, I think, you know, people limit themselves when they say art, so NFTs for me is just another expression and another way of people seeing your art. digital art piece can just be a photograph or something. It could be a picture of some image you've seen out and you think it's a really cool image. You know, but obviously there's other levels. You can manipulate that image, you can do something with that image, or you can animate the image. You know, I don't do animation. I haven't got a clue about animation, but I have the concept in my head and I've got people to help me animate it and put the concept together. And you know, I've done that with the wolf, I've done that with other art pieces. Um, Lepidoptera, I just did it as a straight image, which was the butterflies which I created. So there's just different ways of getting that idea out there. But, you know, crypto and NFTs, they're here to stay. You know, people don't like it. It's here to stay. This exhibition, I approached the gallery and kind of done it together with them. You know, there are a few galleries which I sell my art through. I sell my art also from my website as well. Um, it's early days for me, you know. Not everybody knows I do art, so it's early days and, you know, part of being an artist or a musician just goes hand in hand, just like any craft. You know, you have to get your art out there, you have to get your work out there and people to see it. So I'm on that journey right now. NFTs are you know, still hard to get out there because it's just like putting a record out or anything else. You know I mean, you can't just put it out and nobody know about it. You have to have, you know, luckily for me, I've got a few people around me and know what they're, you know, know what they're doing. So I'm learning every day from these guys and um, they help me 
grab my NFTs and pull them out. <laughs> you have to have people around you. You know, there's so much people, so many people getting ripped off and, and their wallets, you know, their money stolen. And it's, it's good to have a credible team, people who know what they're doing in that technology. You know, um, and yeah, you've got to have that, that trust in people around you. Unless you know, it, unless you know how to do it yourself. I'm, you know, after this, I'm just going to take a couple of weeks weeks out and uh, start painting again. I don't know what those paintings are yet, but that's the beauty of being an artist. It's kind of you don't know what's around the corner, you know. And let's see where that goes. Yeah, come down to the exhibition. <laughs> it runs for a month. And if you can't see the exhibition, go on maximart.co.uk. You'll see the art in there as well. <laughs>